and setting records in some areas. And then comes the big change just in time for the new year. KCAL 9 meteorologist Mary Yoon joins us with our next weather and you've been telling us about it all night long. A big change. Yep, that's right. So we're going to go from upper 70s to 80s this weekend dropping into the 60s with rain by Tuesday. So it is going to be quite a change in the weather pattern. But as we look live over Long Beach where it is just very pleasant outside, a little on the cool side, just not as cold as we've seen, especially towards the overnight temperatures. But you know, it is just a gorgeous Christmas Eve. It just feels I don't know. I feel peaceful outside when you see those kinds of shots, don't you? Over the next 12 hours, it is going to just be a little on the cool side, but we'll see those temperatures hovering near 54 degrees as you uh, approach sunrise tomorrow morning, and then we're expecting sunshine. And the reason we've been seeing this dry weather pattern is due to this high pressure system that has continued to build over Southern California, and it's going to peak tomorrow. So that's why we see those temperatures spiking tomorrow to well above normal. But as we head towards Monday and Tuesday, we have a storm system that'll be approaching much of California. It's going to be bringing some heavy rain to Northern California and even Central California early Tuesday morning. And then we start to see some of that moisture work its way in Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. So it was a noticeably warm Christmas Eve. Burbank topped out at 81 degrees. We got up to 79. Keep in mind, downtown Los Angeles, uh, usually in the 60s this time of year, so about 12 degrees is what we were above normal. Long Beach at 70, so topped out at 77 today. Tomorrow it is going to be in Ontario and Santa Ana, mostly sunshine. Ventura County and even Long Beach, 83 degrees, 75 for Lagoon. All in all, if you're headed to the beach, it's going to be beautiful. Water temperature is still on the cool side. But if you're just, you know, as Ross had mentioned earlier, take a nice little lunch, picnic outside for Christmas, why not? Widespread 80s in the forecast Sunday with a weak offshore flow. But then we are going to start to see clouds increasing on Tuesday with the arrival of our storm system. So tomorrow morning as you wake up, I know all the kids will be the first to wake up tomorrow morning. And this is what it's going to look like and feel like. We're seeing 50s. So this is an improvement from our overnight lows. We're not seeing widespread 40s. And as we track our satellite and radar, you can start to see some moisture working its way in from the north, and it'll start to push south and eastward. And we could still see some showers lingering Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, maybe even through New Year's Eve as well. So here's what it looks like over the next seven days. Warm, sunny today, tomorrow, Big cool down Tuesday with rain in the forecast. For the valley, it's sunny and warm for Christmas Day. Enjoy it. 78 on Monday with clouds thickening towards Monday evening. Much colder on Tuesdays. Temperatures tumbling into the 60s, which is even below average. Expecting 50s midweek for the inland and 60s on Friday. For the beaches, it's gorgeous tomorrow. Pretty good, even warmer than average on Monday, and then 12 degree temperature drop Tuesday, and we'll see the wet weather linger Wednesday into Thursday. 60s once again for the high desert, dry for Monday. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mary. A heads up if you're planning on cozying up.